In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is Darkest Dungeon. Well, the uh, characters in the Hamlet are having one good week. Uh, double stress heal received. We've had a couple of bad weeks. Rough weeks, to say the very least. So week 14, we had a complete party wipe because the Fanatic showed up. I watched the uh, video back when I was editing. There was no Fanatic standing here at the tree. Uh, there was no indication on any of these uh, that the fanatic was going to be there. Champion level 5. There's no way we could take on the Horrid Shrieker at this at this stage. Uh, so I had absolutely no indication that he was going to be uh, haunting our quests. Um, no way of knowing that he would show up. Pretty tragic. Uh, I'm not too thrilled about it. Not too happy with the way that that turned out. But what can you do? To those with a keen eye, gold gleams like a dagger's point. That's right. Uh, looks like Dismas is level 3. He also has a bit of stress. Uh, Raminol, Fitzalan. Most people have pretty negligible stress. I'll try to leave Tally and Dismas behind uh, on this adventure this week. We don't have any heirlooms uh, because we came back with nothing. We barely have any gold. We still have Corsi, so we should take out an Antiquarian run this time uh, to try to pick up some treasures and heirlooms. Uh, the Wield, this is the only available quest, and we are no nowhere near uh, leveled up to where we could take that on. The Warrens here, we've got a debuff skill, debuff resist, reduce dodge, stun skill, stun resist, and reduce dodge. The debuff's actually better. So that's only a 10% bonus. Explore. They're both exploration. They're both medium runs. Uh, the other rewards are the same. The question is, how often do we use debuffs? And is resisting stun more important to me than dodging damage? Oh, I really don't like the cove. Um... I think the infestation level is high everywhere. I don't think that there's a way to reduce it either. Maybe killing the Baron? Town event, a veil lifted? I don't know what that means. Is this the veil that would be lifted and it would be gone? I don't know. Okay, we don't even have either one. I was mistaking this guy for this guy. Very different creatures. And I don't like the fact that they both uh, reduce dodge either. We're not going into the ruins. Because the thing from the stars is there. So it's either the Cove or the Warrens, really. Maybe the farmstead we could get away with. But I don't think we'd gather as much uh, money. I think we'll go for the cove. I'll check out a party combo that will allow us to bring along the Antiquarian and be right back. Okay, we've got the Despair faction. I think that's pretty fitting. So she does have a very light heal. He can, of course, do stress healing. He has a self-heal, if I remember right. Yeah, absolution here. Uh, she also has a self-heal. So the Jester will be the only one uh, that I'll be concerned about as far as healing goes. Let's see if we can afford um, any improvements. Skill upgrades to rank 3. Corsi, can you level up your heals? 
And your dodge. And your damage, sure. Percy. Uh, what skills do you currently have equipped? Battle Ballad is one that is very good. If we're going into the... Into the cove, bleeding isn't going to help us all that much, to be honest. And we'll still have Finale available. He can only use it in the front two positions, though, so he'd only be able to use it if he got pulled forward. Or if someone else got pushed back, or if we got surprised. All of which are possible. It's basic damage. Okay. Tardif. Self-heal upgrade. Okay. So it does provide some bonuses. Blight would be nice to have uh, increased. A knockback and debuff would be nice. Uh, hot hot. Definitely your heal. Bleed out uh, may not be as useful as I'd like for it to be. Yop has a stun. Uh, reduces her damage, though. Just about all of her abilities reduce her own damage, except for um, Adrenaline Rush and her bleeding skill. Oh no, Bleed Out reduces her own damage. If it bleeds, does not. Let's buy this. I'll upgrade this. And we'll swap those out. So that she can remain at the front, if possible. Okay, make sure that that's on the right one. Reduce stress, increase bleed skill chance. We aren't really taking a bleed skill. Uh, increase to dodge. Move resistance is negligible because we should be able to move ourselves forward. That's for low light levels. Uh, blight skill. Blight resist. I don't think she's using a blight ability, but he definitely has one. No. Vestering Vapors is hidden still. So we'll give him this. It reduces his bleed resistance a little bit. Which is a bit sad. Oh, we've lost our, our uh, speed stone as well. Accuracy and dodge. Aside from that, I think he's fine. Antiquarian. No notable trinkets for her. Um, I'm not sure that we need to give her anything, as a matter of fact. I was kind of hoping that we had something that would improve her healing abilities, but it doesn't appear to be the case. I could give her some protection. Move resistance. That might be good. Egomania, Curious, Compulsive. So she has all of the bad traits for an Antiquarian to have. Uh, we might actually lose out some treasure on this trip. Oh. I'm not confident about this. We need these most of all. Those are free. Cove, we're gonna need extra shovels. Let's take all the shovels, because I think we will need them. I may end up using the blood uh, sooner rather than later. He's got wasting, so he might need the blood right away as soon as we get started. Uh, he could probably wait for a while, but we'll see. Alright, fingers crossed. The smell of rotting fish is almost unbearable. 
Yeah, huge reductions in abilities. He's not too bad, but his are. So let's go ahead and give him a the blood. There you go, buddy. It even uh, reduced his health from the beginning. Let's go ahead and grab this room since it's so close. I'll try to remember to have her open everything and hope that she doesn't uh, steal things. I did. I forgot to check our uh, scouting ability. Clearly we didn't see this coming. Minimal damage. Their blight resistance is pretty low though. Oh yeah. Please resist. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Uh, Battle Ballad would be amazing. A time to perform beyond one's limits. Haha, <laughs> I get it. Perform. Nice resistance there to the bleeding. I wasn't expecting that with his uh, condition. Crimson Curse affecting him. A big chop right here would be epic. He is dead on his next round, so actually a big chop here would be pretty epic. Alternatively, we could boost for... Uh, dodge, which actually I think I will do instead. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. Let's see if we can stack. We did. So he's definitely dead. Weapon that cuts on its own. He'll have three health left. Uh, let's start off with heals then. Because we know that he bleeds. So a resistance to bleed is going to help us out. Now that I think about it, I should focus my heals on the Jester, uh, since he is incapable of healing himself. Nice, critical. Holy cow. I forgot, though, that that skill moves him forward. It shouldn't uh, affect us too much, though. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Since he and um, the Abomination can sort of work together there. All right. So they both have minus 10% max HP, 15, 22. This also, though, reduces speed. His speed is 10, so I think he could stand a reduction of speed. We'll grab the citrine. It's not quite time for a torch yet. We should be okay. But yeah, we definitely need to focus healing on the jester here. Oh no. Oh, these drowned thralls, too. Worst. Worst case scenario. Uh, okay. Bile. First things. Nice. Both blighted. Both debuffed as well. A dodge. Okay. Uh, you could do with a buff for all of us. The blood quickens. An iron swan here at the highest damage would be ideal. Close. No cigar. Ouch. That's a lot of damage that we're not able to easily correct. They're all going right now, too. Ah, wow. I didn't realize they could hit that hard. I didn't have the money to upgrade our equipment, either. This is such a low-level quest, though. I didn't think that we would have this much trouble. I think stunning him takes away the guard. I could be wrong. Okay, you resisted anyway with a 25%. That's pretty abominable. Are we even going to be close? It's possible. Nice, perfect. That's exactly what we needed. Them all. Okay, heals on the Jester, please. A one. It's something. It gives him uh, resistance as well to the bleed that this is trying to inflict. He dodged anyway, though. So we were lucky there. Um... Three to five. 
He still has his bonus protection. So we're better off Obliterated. with this one here. Okay. I was thinking it was his turn. Wow. I didn't realize that it would get him. I figured since it was a, uh area of effect, it would um, get him anyway. So that is a bit of a shame. We're at 4 to 7 right now with that. 2 to 3 only with this. That does quite a bit of damage. Sea Breeze is a heal. It is for 9. That's a lot of healing. You see? You see what she's capable of? Heal yourself for 1. Magical. Oh, I was really hoping for a dodge there. And he is bleeding, of course. Okay. A good stun would be in order. There we go. A stress. Okay. We can handle a little bit of stress, I think. Uh, I don't know that it's worth it right now. Give them no quarter. I feel like if we were going to do that, we should have done it um, earlier on. A, a two. Nice. Abatement. And we should be able to uh, get some good damage there. 22, 27. Go ahead and inspire yourself then. Inspiration. Four and damage he's taking. That's actually considerable. I should uh, just use his self heal though. Nice. Formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Okay. We're still hanging on here. Slowly but surely. You can the burn that. Is struck. A blazing star is born. I don't know if I want to open this right now. Uh, we can always come back to it. Okay, an empty room. But right now we just don't have any room for it. Man, this is not going to be easy. I guess they never are, really, but I always expect them to be easier than this. I guess instead of skill upgrades, I could have tried investing more into uh, equipment. 70, 60, 80. Nice. Whoa. I promise I wasn't holding my breath right there. I was. In radiance, may we find victory. I hope so. Let's ignore this. Because the torch apparently doesn't work. I don't know if the website needs updated or if uh, something else has occurred. Alright, another empty room. That's what I like to see. More traps, so I don't like to see. Nice job. That's getting him some free uh, stress relief. Okay, some food. It, uh, oh, are you kidding me? You realize how much we're going to need that food in the future, right? Because we already could uh, easily use some. Okay, let's ignore this one again. Let's go ahead and torch up before we enter. Keep our scouting checks high. Okay, here's another food. Please ignore. Are you kidding me? You're bent on ruining all of our ability to advance here. This is bad news. These guys never look like much. But they most certainly are. They do a lot of damage. Nice dodge. We need this. Uh, it doesn't matter who we attack. We've got 6 to 12. We've got 6 to 12. Let's go for the back stages here. That's the height of possible damage. Nice dodge. Thank you very much for that. Let's see some more of this if we can, please. Ouch. We may have to transform. We have the stress relief here. 
so I think it may become imperative. Yeah, it's unavoidable at this point. As much damage as he's taking, it's not, uh, it's not rational to remain in this form. A little bit of healing for yourself. There you go. And we can start with the rake. I think that's going to help us out. It has a reduced damage modifier and a reduced crit modifier, but over time, uh, it builds up damage. So we're doing four to seven each, each of these. Okay, he's down to two health, so he's dead on his next turn. Sniff. Let's do an adrenaline rush here. It's not much healing, but it does buff uh, her resistances as well, accuracy and all that. Okay, I think stacking, uh, stacking a few things would be nice as well. He's dead on his turn anyway. Um. See, he's not, and he's not. We can't hit him with anybody else, except maybe him. Her, we can't. Uh, let's stack dodge, though, for this turn. Come on. Oh, come on. Hot, hot. I expect better from my aliens. Okay, they're both dead on their next turns. Some serious damage there. Slam is going to be good. Alright. And a uh, battle ballad. Sure. So that he's not this moving this guy out of the way. Unforeseen. Uh, should have known. Ouch. Some serious damage. Yeah, Scree. Nice dodge. Beautiful. That's what I like to see. Uh, this guy doesn't have any damage being done to him right now. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Could you finish him off, please? 95%. Nice. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. We're trying. Trust me, we are trying. Ugh, this isn't looking good, though. We've already eaten through a whole stack of food, and she keeps, um, destroying all of our opportunities at getting more food. Let's play us the song of our people. We're gonna start off with strikes on this guy, take him down before his protection builds. Let's keep him from guarding anybody if we can. He resisted. A uh, big dodge bonus would be ideal. Please dodge. Beautiful. Beautiful. More dodges would be more better. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yep. Buffing her damage and accuracy and stuff, I believe. Yep. And crit. You're guarding him, of all people? I'm gonna try not to complain too much. Oh, please. Please hit this one. Nice. Destroyed. Absolutely destroyed. I love it. Uh, we could have a go on her. I think it's a decent decision as well. All the damage we can do, the better. Good. Okay, she's dead on her next turn. Oh, no. Oh, all the way to the front as well. I'm not a fan of that. Give her a little bit of uh, extra resistance. Okay, of course he's going for this guy since I didn't protect him with resistance. Bleeding. Osterocytesis. Octo... Octo... East. Whatever. Breakthrough. Excellent work. She was going to be dead, uh, but it's okay. Let's do a battle ballad again. Uh, can you absolve yourself of... No. It's just for stress and a tiny bit of healing. We didn't bring bandages, did we? We did. Let's go ahead and use it. This is going to blight again. Yes. Got him. He's almost dead. Dodge and protection. Let's just dodge everybody. More dodge is more good. 
three damage. It's not the worst. She resisted the bleeding as well. He's almost dead. He'll be dead on his next turn. Ouch. Come on. Ah, oh, resist it again. Fantastic. Fantastic. I love it. Uh, we could go for uh, murder time on this guy. Okay, a manacles on... Nice crit. We needed that. Very much. Heals on yourself then. A one. That's not ideal, but it's something. Please dodge. Ouch. It's a lot of damage that I didn't want to take. Eradicated. That's right. Feast on his heart. Please do. The death by inches. Okay. It's a good amount of gold. I don't know if we'll find enough emeralds to stack uh, that would justify us dumping anything else off right now. I feel like we're going to need these bandages again for sure. I guess I could trade the citrine. That might be ideal. And the fish idol. This might be holy water. It is holy water for sure. And, uh... Otherwise, it's pretty terrible. Man, no scouting either. I guess we could light up a torch. See if that helps. No? Nothing? This is a long hallway. I don't like where her health is at, but I'm also not keen on using food right now. Ish. Cruel machinations spring to life with a singular purpose. Minus 20 dodge and minus 5 speed for 12 rounds. And the infestation level is very high around here. Let's pop in here, see if we can d get a scout. Nothing? All of these have been, uh, eggs. Back here is a treasure chest. We only have to explore 90% of the rooms. So if we explore this one, and we live, we may not have to explore some of these extremities. We may just have to go through the center here and be fine. But the question is, what's in these places? Oh, wow. That startled me. Okay, if we give it to him now, uh, he's going to go into bloodlust. Please don't pick this up. Uh, why do you insist? Why is she endlessly grabbing these things? I ask. I know if I throw them away, we're going to need these two shovels. And we always need heirlooms. Most of all, though, right now we need cash. We're only at 500 here. We're already at 1,500 with the emeralds. Okay, she already messed up. Okay. Yeah. We're going to need more food before the end. We may not even have enough for uh, camping. They're both craving now. This is mildly concerning. Oh, I didn't put him back in his position. This is not good. 6 to 11. Okay, stress him out. Dodge. Wow. Wow. Yep, we're dead. We are dead. Uh. 
Uh, we just rage against this guy. Let's see, three to five, four to seven, five to nine, seven to 13. We can slam him to knock him back. He resisted, of course. I should have said we could slam him in an attempt to knock him back. Okay, he's guarding. This is a great time to try to help us dodge. And we're in a bad shape. Nice dodge there. We don't need any more stress for any of them. Uh, Rake will hit them both anyways, regardless of his guard. What he's got going on. Spear fishing. Nice miss. Good. Okay, let's get our battle ballad going. Dirk stab will probably be next. If I can pull it off. Wonderful. Ouch, that's a lot of damage. Oh man, that's a lot of damage. Okay, please resist. Nice dodge. Nice dodge. Stress on the Jester. Good, good because he's very close to being afflicted. Ouch. It's fine if he gets moved. I thought spear fishing uh, was a move ability. I think I might have been incorrect in that assumption. How much longer? One more round of this. Uh, yeah, let's try to hit both of them. It's still so little damage. You really need to buff yourself. We have 89% chance to hit this. Please do. Thank you. Two to three, four to seven. He's guarded though. I'm glad I didn't make that mistake right away. Nice crit, holy cow. That's what I needed to see for real. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. Uh, more dodge. Okay. Ouch. Ah, uh, his resistance is rubbish. Uh, it still says minus 50% damage mod, so that isn't uh, updated in real time. Okay, he'll die. He should be close to death. Um, heals for everybody. Max damage. Wasn't quite enough, though. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Sure. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Uh, I can't remember what we need more. I'm inclined to grab the bus just because of my other playthrough. That's what we're working on. We'll see how it goes, though. Then, of course, we can't activate this right now. They're both craving, and we only have one more blood vial. Soon they will be wasting, and there will be nothing we can do. I feel like it's only... I feel like it's necessary for us to camp right now. A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. Oh man. Okay. Speed. Encourage to reduce stress. go for this. Uh, he needs some assistance, though. Of course, uh, the only one with healing is the one who needs it the most. 
and you can't heal yourself for whatever reason, uh, which is broken. That shouldn't be the case. We should be able to heal ourselves. I should have looked into that, but of course, of course. Still have five. Three and three. Um, we used her in courage, we used his. And that's annoying that she can't heal herself. Alright, heal her then. That should do. That was worth two. Increase to crit, or we could give him some more speed. Which I think is probably worth it. do that so that he can be a little bit quicker on the drop yeah it does look bad I don't know if there's nothing to fear uh, because we're all in pretty terrible shape actually and she keeps ruining the our light. ability to the get more food safety. still no scouting either oh, what did we leave behind here it was the same it was that statue Oh, man. I'm going to bed and my stomach is sick. It's all in my head that we're losing our treasure now. Oh. Hang on. I was trying to see if uh, the holy water would be worth it to grab um, to go purify these shrines. One of them. But all it is is a bonus to damage until camp. 18%. Which I consider to be somewhat negligible. Oh, please don't kill us. Whoa. Shipwreck mariners. A sign of the boss to come. Sack is empty. See, why don't you, uh... Why don't you compulsively interact with empty sacks? Can you answer me that question? Our scouting chance must be absolute rubbish. Griggs empty as well. Another mariner. Another misfortune. Okay, there has to be an enemy in here. Let's max out our torch so that we can please try to s surprise them. Oh. Man. If we can make it to two more rooms without dying. Now please. Keep your hands off. No. Why is she compulsively attracted to the fish? Please tell me what the difference is. It's n it has nothing to do with knowledge or self-worship. And her compulsive quirk hasn't even activated on any other, any other action. None. It makes no sense. There's no reason for her to be attracted to the dead fish, except that it's trying to ruin our ability to acquire more food. I brought two stacks in it. I know it's not enough already. Because if we run into a hunger chick, we'd be dead. Here it goes, finally. Okay. Now I can complain less. She didn't even take it all for herself. So. Whoa. Jester. Mechanical hazards. Possessed by evil intent. Stressed. Debuffed. Oh, for 12 rounds, too. It's crazy. Here we go. Oh, good. Yes. I need all of the heals that I could possibly get. Pure desire? No, you're still craving. You're fine. Why did you pass? Okay, more heals. Resistances as well, which doesn't help us much in this case. Battle ballad doesn't help much in this case. Oh. I'm not confident. I'm not confident, folks. Stressing out my least stressed 
characters is ideal. Seaward Slash. He's probably going to have to pull off the Transform here. Oh, she's probably going to get get a death store soon. Stop. Stop. Critical heal for himself. That's good. Okay. Uh, reducing dodge and speed is kind of nice, but knocking him back uh, puts him out of the way of any of our other attacks, really. Um, damaging as many people as we can is pretty ideal, though. Let's go for a slam. That brings him up. Oh, why does it still do damage? That's so bad. We're in such a bad way here. Okay. This is going to move him forward. That's not ideal. Let's stack uh, Battle Ballad here. Because she needs to be forward of where she is. Let's do another heal. Oh, it's so bad for her. Eights across the board. That's pretty powerful. Of course. Nice dodge. Thank you so much. Yorg. That's right. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. I'm not holding my breath. You're holding your breath. Uh, a rage wouldn't wouldn't be too bad. It's a guaranteed kill on all of these guys, actually. Thank you. Please don't do damage. Thank you for dodging both of those. Iron Swan here, 95%. Perfect. Decimated. Perfect. That's exactly what we needed right there. Exactly what we needed. Battle Ballad has done its work there. That was a lot of damage. An insane amount of damage, actually. Uh, we probably could pull off a stab. He has to be in the front two positions for... Okay, slam, he can be further back, so that's all good. Not quite a kill there. Come on. Ah, beautiful, beautiful. Nice. Dead. And we should be able to pull this off. His speed is three. Let's do this instead, in case we have one more room to, have to go through. Fortify. Jester, you better be faster than this guy. So, too, will resistance. Oh, I can't even believe it. Do we even dare try to make it back over to here? I'm going to go for it. If we have one hunger check happen... I'm leaving. Yeah, he would have been wasting next. Yep. She's the one that I'm worried about. Because if we have another hunger check, she might be dead. How much damage is it? Because she has 30%. If it's 40% damage, then she's dead. Okay, now she's Ancient definitely dead. Traps lie in wait. Unsprung and thirsting for blood. Can you please not talk right now? I'm trying to focus. No. I don't think we make it down all these hallways. Because I think these lit hallways, in my experience, they have a higher um, frequency of hunger checks. So we're done here. I'm not going to take the risk. We will find all manner of great and terrible. 
terrible things in this watery tomb. We made back the money that we invested. Uh, we gained 24 crests, 4 busts, and a portrait. Oh, man. Not quite any level ups here. Did Percy make it to level 2? I think he did. Thick-blooded, blight resistance. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, of course, yeah, sure. You're learning from Corsi. Dipsomania. So now she's going to be uh, compulsively grabbing out of wine barrels and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, clotter. Bleed resistance. I guess that's why it's different. That's going to be it for this episode, though. If you want to catch another one, be sure to subscribe. Consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description. And feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists you might be interested in. I thank you so much for all the time you spend on my channel, and I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.